people can collect a lot of information about you without having to go to shady sites on the dark web. In fact, they can collect a ton of information simply by Googling you. This is all part of what we call open source intelligence or OSINT. This is the collection of intelligence that is publicly available on the internet or other sources. Think about the picture that you posted on Instagram or a video that you uploaded to TikTok. Think about the information that might be present that someone could pull from that video. Maybe it's something in the background. Maybe it's a reflection in a window. Maybe it's just the license plate. You got the state or the number. All of that can be information that someone can take to learn more about you. And the thing is, it's all completely legal. Again, it's all public information. They're not. Nobody's illegally accessing information. They're simply taking what you are uploading onto the internet or what others are uploading about you on the internet and analyzing it. This is one strategy that background checkers will check to make sure that you're not a serial killer, or at the very least, a serial killer that's bad at OPSEC. It can also be used by hackers to collect information on potential targets, whether that's a specific person or a whole company. And that is known as passive reconnaissance. And you can learn all of this on the Cyber Mentor Academy. And I did that. I took this course and I'm going to give you a quick review on what I thought about the course. But before we continue, I want to be abundantly clear here. And I know that TCM would be the same way on this. Don't take this course if you're planning to be a creep or use this for unethical purposes. Only do this if you're planning on being an ethical and responsible professional with this information. Be safe, but most importantly, be ethical. If you're not going to do that, click off this video. Now let's talk a little bit about this course and then we're going to talk about what I thought about the course once I finished it. It's a pretty lengthy course and this course fits within the Cyber Mentors PNPT or Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification course. We've already covered the Practical Ethical Hacker course and you can stick around for my review at the end of this video, but this is another element of that entire pipeline. If you're already interested, you don't want to hear my review, there's an affiliate link down in the video description and that goes to help this channel while you get this course. So definitely consider that if you are thinking about getting this course. Also consider hitting the like button because that also helps the channel, but it helps this video immensely and helps YouTube push this video out to new audiences. Now, before we dive into the course, I do want to say that TCM already posted the first four and a half hours of this course on his YouTube channel. And you can check that out if you want to dip your toes a little bit and kind of get an idea on what this course is like or what kind of material is in there. I do want to say that in that the four and a half hours, there is a lot of stuff that is left out that you won't get if you check the course to include some of the materials and links that are very handy to have that are available if you own the course. So don't think that just because you watch the four and a half hours that you're completely good. There's a lot of information in the course that is just exclusive to the course. But again, it works as a handy preview. So if that's something that you want to do before getting the course, feel free to check it out. Now let's talk about the course. It is about nine hours long, which is fairly lengthy. However, relative to other courses on the Academy, like the PEH, for instance, it is a relatively quick course. If I remember correctly, the PEH was like a 20 hour course. So compared to that, this is fairly quick. However, this course does cover quite a lot, namely, and I'm going to have to read directly from the script here, sock puppets, search engine OSINT, image OSINT, email OSINT, password OSINT, username OSINT, people OSINT, social media OSINT, website OSINT, business OSINT, wireless OSINT. <sighs> lot of OSINT. You can build an OSINT lab and then and you can use a specific Kali Linux distribution that is specifically designed for open source intelligence to do all kinds of different research from both a CLI and from the browser. There's also an automation of OSINT section where you build a bash script to automatically use a lot of the tools that you talk about in Kali Linux to basically script a bunch of places and collect a lot of information. Now that is a lot of information to pack into just nine hours. In fact, I had to break this course up into chunks because again, who the heck has nine hours laying around that they can just bull rush a whole course. Each section is also pretty thorough. In every section, he provides a number of tools and sites that you can use that can be very handy in your OSINT journey that really you should definitely have jotted down if you are taking this course. Most importantly though, you're really learning the OSINT methodology and really how do you go about researching specific things and collecting a lot of intelligence on something. And you're going to absorb that while you're
are taking the course, whether you know it or not, just watching the way that he's diving through specific sites and specific methodologies for gathering intelligence. This is really something that you can take and use for your open source intelligence journey to be a better researcher. So with all of that being said, what did I think once I finished the course? It was good. Personally, I'm relatively fresh to OSINT. I mean, I follow like some accounts for current events, but that is it. I don't really do any OSINT on my own. I'm also not the type of person to go on these crazy like deep investigations into a specific sock puppet on Twitter, try to like attribute it to some sort of like adversary that I have. I don't really have a lot of rivals, but either way, you do learn a lot in this course. And being able to walk away, not just with the knowledge, but with the resources is incredibly handy. It is a huge benefit that whenever you get this course, you have a lifetime access to the course and its materials. And sometimes it gets updated over time. So you'll be able to learn about new tools and resources. So that's pretty nice. One element that I don't like, and honestly, this is just a symptom of doing it self-paced and on my own, is that there's really nobody else that you're able to work with. And that's really just completely me that has nothing to do with the course itself. If you are the type of person that you like to work in a team, then it might help to get a couple of other people that are interested in this course. And there is a whole discord that TCM has that has an OSINT channel that you can jump into and there's other people that are learning through this course. You can jump into that channel and kind of learn more and work with people to kind of troubleshoot some problems. But again, it's not necessarily going to be the exact same as if you had like a whole team of people that were also working through this course together and you could all ping ideas off of each other. If you're self-learning and self-studying and you, and you enjoy that and you're good at it, well then that's not a problem. Another element is relevancy. Like I said earlier, this course is part of the PNPT pipeline and OSINT fits into that so you can perform passive reconnaissance. But if you consider where reconnaissance fits in within the entire course of a penetration test, especially let alone passive reconnaissance, where you're going to be leaning on your OSINT skills, that's really going to be a relatively small portion, but a very important one. And a lot of the OSINT that's taught in this course is more specific to human beings and not necessarily a company, although the principles do generally apply. The thing that does help with learning OSINT about human beings is that that can help you craft incredibly specific and very relevant to them phishing emails that can be used to gain initial access at an organization. Doing good OSINT can give you a leg up on creating something that the user is likely to click on. The business OSINT is also something that's covered and that also is very handy, obviously. That said, if you are currently or aren't really planning on working in an area like penetration testing or something like that where you'll be doing something like that, then I'm not quite sure what you would need to know all of this for. Maybe if you're working as a private investigator, sure, then this course might be for you. In fact, a lot of people in general can benefit from taking this course just to know how easy it is to collect a lot of intelligence on any specific person and how important it is to be very careful and cognizant of what you're posting online. And ultimately, it all teaches you how to be a better researcher, which is an invaluable skill. That said, if you're some rando off the street that's wanting to learn how to be a creep, but be better at being a creep, then this course is not for you. Again, like I said at the very beginning, of this video. These kinds of courses are taught with the understanding that the people that are learning it are there to be ethical professionals. This course doesn't exist and the videos like the ones that I create or like the ones at TCM or some of the other cybersecurity creators put on YouTube, they don't exist so people can go out and do unethical things. They exist for people to go out and be ethical professionals and help really just raise the level of security overall. So if you're interested in taking this course so you can go creep on somebody, then don't take this course. It's not for you. That being said, if you are interested in taking this course, you do think it's for you, again, check the affiliate link down below. And again, I'm trusting you to be an ethical professional with that. Using that affiliate link does help this channel grow. Now, if you're interested in taking the Practical Ethical Hacker course, check out this video. That course was pretty fun. And let me know in the comments what you think. Hit the like button if this was helpful and be sure to subscribe for more videos. With all that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.